Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create the slow mo fade transition inside of After Effects. It looks super smooth and clean. It was actually firstly done in the Chucky, me versus me music video. And it completely went viral. So, this is how we recreate it. So, to start off, you can see I have these two clips from the video pulled up, which I'm gonna add the transition in. So, firstly, we're gonna select our first clip and go over somewhere around the middle or the end. Where you think the slow-mo would be good for me it's around here so somewhere in this ending part then we just gonna split the clip right here of course it would be different for you like the timing and stuff but make sure you split the clip when you want the slow-mo to start and we just gonna pre come this cut right here and to make that slow-mo then to make that slow-mo we'll be using twixter if you don't already know it's a plugin which allows you to add those crazy slow-mo easily i'll have a full length video in icad if you want to learn it but we'll be using Using that but if you don't have it all you gotta do is like right click going to time time stretch and you can make it like something like 300 or so so it's like really slow -mo. and if you have this lag going on you can just go into the pre-comp and just click here two times beside your like like the motion blur then you would have a cool slow -mo like that as well but for now let's just use like a twixter to make it simple so let's just add twixter in here twixter pro and in here we're just gonna set the amount to 30 so it's like the smooth slow-mo that we want i love twixer slow-mo i think it's the way to create slow-mo in after effects the method i showed you before is good but it is not that good as twixter but anyways after your slow-mo is done just select the slow-mo clip and your normal clip which is this one the first one and you can just pick on both of those in here make sure you know where like the slow-mo starts so for me it's around here i can even like put like a marker so we know make sure the shape path visibility is enabled and just hit y in a keyboard and bring up the anchor point and put the anchor point on your artist face like that and in my timeline selecting my clip hit s to bring up the scale and we just gonna make a scale give him right here so put the first value around like forward or 10 frame forwards and go like 5 frame forward as well and you can just zoom it in don't do it too much a little like 150 to 140 and you can just easy those keyframes right there and you can go to value graph and you can make a simple graph right here like this so it like zooms on the marker like that i think that's too tight so let's just make it a little smoother like that yeah that looks perfect right there you can even like spread out the keyframes more if you like yeah now that looks pretty cool right there then you can turn on the motion blur as well so when the slow-mo start we also gonna add a shake so we're gonna create a new adjustment layer right here adjustment layer and for the shake i will be using radial shake from my shake pack if you don't have this you can just use like a sapphire stick and keyframe it yourself or if you don't have sapphire stick as well you can use like a wiggle expression the position one and play with like that or also you can use like a shake sauce but anyways we're gonna bring up the keyframes now select all of these keyframes line it up and from here i like to remove the transform and lower down the stake amount to one so now as you can see it looks something like that that's what i like our preset is you can just drag and drop and you will have the uh, crazy sick going on if you want to download this sick pack i'll link it in the description it's actually crazy but anyways after your sick is done we're gonna select our pre-comp and go over to the last frame of the pre-comp so for me as you can see this is the last frame right here and duplicate it and trim it right here so it's like one frame if you don't know how to trim it you can use like the brackets key on your keyboard so you can like trim it like this so if i show you i can extend it and trim it like that but anyways we're gonna right click in here go over to time and turn it into a freeze frame this time and you can just bring up the end like this so it's like five or ten frames long so something like that and then hit t on a keyboard to bring up the opacity hit the stopwatch in there go over to the end and set it to zero you can even make it even longer like that that looks super cool right there then while it transitions we're gonna add a exposure in here and keyframe that so so the first value zero will be like like two or three frame forward and you can just bring it up on the first frame to around like 2.5 or something like that so it's like flashes and in here if you have a plugin called universe 
this you can add like a uni box bouquet and in the first frame make the blur amount to something like 10 and hit the stopwatch in it go over to the end and lower it down to zero as we did with the flash so we have a flash like this and also you can like bring up the ca keyframes and add the same thing in here like an exposure so so two on the exposure i think on the cut and set it back to zero and you can also add like a uni box bouquet in here with the amount of 10 and hit the stopwatch in it go to first and set it to zero and go over to the last and set it to zero as well so it like comes into focus but anyway is now our final effect looks something like this so hope you like this video if you do it please make sure to hit the like button and you can also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this i try to put a lot of effort in every single video of mine so you can learn something new so i would really appreciate if you just hit the subscribe button it means the world if you want to support further and grab some dope packs as well you can check out my store so yeah see ya tomorrow peace